Hi everyone, I'm Morgan from Winfrey Harris, and today I'm going to be running in honor of fallen first responder K-9 Balka, who served with the St. Louis, Missouri uh, Fire Department in St. Louis, Missouri. His last alarm was March 4th, 2023. On that date, him and his handler, uh, K-9 handler, were at work searching for a homicide victim in an abandoned building when K-9 Balco suffered from an accidental fall, unfortunately killing him. He passed away at just a young age of six years old and had served with his fire department for three and a half years before the time of his passing. He was a trained cadaver dog and had previously um, done, completed successfully nine searches before the time of his passing. Um, he leaves behind his loving family, many friends, as well as his entire department who will miss him very deeply. Tonight, in his honor, I'm running with the red line flag, um, which will be sent to his family, as well as a hammer and note that's ready to be sent out to them. Um, before I begin my run tonight, I'd like to say a quick prayer in this song. So good evening and thank you to those of you who are joining us. Um, tonight Morgan is doing a one mile run um, in memory of K-9 Balco of the St. Louis, Missouri Fire Department. Sadly, his last alarm was on March 4th, 2023, and he passed away um, while conducting a search of an abandoned building um, with his handler and suffering a fatal fall. K-9 Balco was just six years of age at the time of his passing and was a cadaver dog for the St. Louis Fire Department, successfully performing nine searches during his three and a half years with the department. He's sadly missed by his handler, his family, and all members of the St. Louis Fire Department and St. Louis community. And tonight's run is in honor of him. Morgan will be doing four laps tonight around the parking lot, which is the equivalent of one mile. Um, and after this run, um, the red line flag, as well as a handwritten note, will be delivered um, and sent to the handler and to the fire department um, for safekeeping. Um, K-9 Balco was so well loved, and in everything that we've read and learned about him in the days since his passing, um, he was uh, just a truly valued member of the department um, and of the community and he's sadly missed. Tonight Morgan's being escorted by first responders from the Ocean County Sheriff's Department um, and our local fire departments from um, the Pioneer District as well as Laurelton. And we're so grateful for their support um, in honoring and paying tribute to this hero.
So again, Morgan is running one mile tonight in honor of um, fallen canine Balco of the St. Louis Fire Department, um, whose end of watch was March 4th, 2023, and he sadly passed away um, while performing a search of an abandoned building um, and reports of the possible homicide victim. Um, during that search, he suffered a fatal fall um, and passed away. During the three and a half years that Tina Bapa worked with the St. Louis Fire Department, he had performed nine successful um, searches as a cadaver dog, including the search of the um, fallen Amazon warehouse building, who's a highly trained dog and the only cadaver dog in the department. Again, this run tonight is for K-9 Balco um, of the St. Louis Fire Department, whose end of watch was March 4th, 2023, and he passed away after suffering a uh, fatal fall while conducting a search um, of an abandoned building in St. Louis. Um, our thoughts and prayers are with uh, his handler today and in the days going forward, as it's difficult to lose any first responder, but to lose a canine partner is especially difficult as the bond that um, the handler has with the canine is like no other. We felt it extremely important to be here today and to pay tribute to this year. Morgan, any final thoughts tonight for the handler, the department, uh, and the family of K-9 Balco of the St. Louis Fire Department? Uh, first, I'd like to express my love and sympathy out to the family of fallen K-9 Balco. Um, I understand you're going through an extremely hard time right now, um, and I honestly can't imagine what you must be going through, but I hope that my one-mile run in honor of your uh, fall in love with one canine Balco has brought you some peace and comfort and has also helped you cope uh, through these times. Um, I'd also like to especially thank uh, canine Balco for his service and for his great acts of bravery, selflessness, and strength throughout his lifetime, though unfortunately it was cut short um, due to an incident. Um, but I just thank him so much uh, for his time of service and for his great bravery throughout his life. He will forever be remembered by me and hundreds and thousands of others throughout the world, and his family is in our prayers. Uh, finally, I'd like to have a 21 second moment of silence, like the 21 gun salute, each second representing one amazing thing that he's done in his lifetime, uh, followed by a prayer. So if you'd like to join me, please bow your heads now. I'm gonna be
family of our fallen first responder, Kate Idaka, and bring them to peace and comfort through the difficult times, but also give them the strength to keep going through these times, and let them know that their families are not harmed to friends. I really watch over Kate Idaka, and ensure that he is made to heaven safely. I mean, let him know that he will never be forgotten, and that we are all so grateful and thankful for his time of service and for his life of great strength to me. Finally, I pray that you watch over all first responders throughout the world. I put a shield of protection over their heads as they were survived every single day, not knowing if they'll be able to make it from that night or not. Um, but even on that, they still risk it all to protect the people of the world. I want to thank them so much for their great dedication and strength and bravery throughout their life. Thank you. 